Charlie Pride here and welcome to my YouTube channel, Pride of the Villages. Uh, as you can see in the background, uh, getting ready to go out again on the American Patriot. This is going to be a three-day dry Tortugas trip. Before I talk about that trip, let me introduce you to the new boat they also have here at the uh, Rose Marina. So this is the sister ship to the American Patriot. It is the American Hunter. Formerly, it was the Super Sea Legs from the Florida's East Coast. It has been refurbished, renamed, and is now at Rose Marina. Its schedule for sailing should be out on the American Patriot Sport Fishing website sometime in September. But today we are on the American Patriot, and I have done two previous videos on this boat. First is Meet the American Patriot, which was a top to bottom deck tour of the boat with some bottom fishing video as well. Second was a video on fishing Pulley Ridge, uh, doing some deep dropping with electric reels. Well, there will be no deep dropping on this trip as we will be fishing north and west of the Dry Tortugas in about 200 feet of water. If you are not familiar with the Dry Tortugas, they are 70 miles west of Key West. Today, Dry Tortugas, it is a 47,000 acre national park comprising the seven islands. But apart from the wildlife, it preserves Fort Jefferson, the largest masonry structure in the west. The area is one of the most reliable places in the world for mutton snapper fishing. It also holds some huge flag yellowtails. And we are at the end of the red snapper season, so hopefully we'll be able to get that snapper as well. Now the 151 square nautical mile Tortugas Ecological Reserve, once a favorite fishing spot of Hemingway and his friends, is off limits. Due to these restrictions and regulations, these waters are heavily monitored by fishing game. Going with a deep sea fishing charter who knows where to fish, has the right equipment and necessary licenses, understands the rules and bag limits, can end up saving you serious penalties and fines. That's why I am today on the American Patriot. So starting our journey at Rose Marina on Marco Island, it's time to load the boat.
is hot. It is damn hot. It is so hot. Oh boy, it's hot. You make popcorn on the deck, it's so hot. We're catching some fish though. So after dinner there was a few more drops and at 11 p.m. it was time to head home 100 miles. On the way in we had time to reflect on the fish that we caught and the ones that got away. Special thanks to Chef Mike who served up some great meals. Thanks to Captain Ralph for putting us on the fish and the mates who worked tirelessly on the deck. After docking we unloaded our personal gear and the mates started to unload the fish that goes on this tarp with a bed of ice. Once all the fish are off the boat, pictures are taken and the fish are called out by tag number. 21, 21, 28, 28. One was you guys, yeah? Six, three, six. Big way. Good God. Pool winners are determined, and Bob's gag took the grouper pool and the biggest fish pool at 19 pounds. If you would like your fish cleaned, the mates will oblige at a reasonable cost. During cleaning, the egrets, pelicans, and these 200 pound tarpon get some snacks. Bill the bird whisperer was on hand to provide advice to his team. So I had a great time fishing with five guys that we have been conducting multi-day trips in the Gulf of Mexico for 14 years and hopefully will continue to do so again. So check out the American Patriot or the American Hunter for your fishing adventures. I'm Charlie Pride and this is my YouTube channel Pride of the Villages. We'll see you on the next fishing adventure.